Good afternoon. Good morning. Are you well? Welcome to Friday's uh, wake up call. This is uh, your final wake up call of the week. Now, it may be the final one of the week. However, we are, as always, got a jam packed day lined up on Crafters TV. My name is Craig Laird. And as I say, with it being Friday and the last day of the week, I am with you Monday to Friday for an hour and a half. We will get to showcase what's coming up throughout the day on Crafters TV. I get to have my picks of the shows that are coming up and uh, also get to have some fun in between, uh, depending who the presenter is of the day. Now with today, it is Friday, so which means that we do have a jam-packed show to end the week before we go into the weekend. So what have we got on the show today? Well, we have got a launch day. We've got launch day being 3 p.m. here in the UK for you guys stateside, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time, and then a staple of the Friday lineup, and that is a Colour Me Happy. So that is then going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, or 11 a.m. Pacific time. Now, that's not the only exciting thing when it comes to Crafters TV and Wake Up Call today. What we are doing right now is launching our Freebie Frenzy event. I know, Freebie Frenzy event. So when you go onto the website and you shop the Freebie Frenzy, you're going to be getting a freebie within the bundles. Now, these are going to run through all of our shows as well. So what you're able to do as well, I believe, when's it running to, Johnny? Till the 19th. So it's not just today, it's not just for the weekend, it's going to be running up until Wednesday. So within each bundle that we're going to be showcasing, you're going to be getting a free gift as well. So that is something that is really, really exciting. You can see that right along the bottom of your screen right now. So, you know, it could be, well, do you know, actually, it could be a selection of different things. We've got a really good freebie within bundles that we're going to be showcasing, which is on Wake Up Call that run throughout the show in parallel today. But while I focus on the demo and then the interaction with you guys, we've got someone else at the helm who's then also going to be uh, reading your comments and going through, let me tell you, a magnitude of the freebie events that's coming within the freebie frenzy. He's here, he's looking spiffing as always. It's his, uh, well, it is his Friday feeling because it is the real Friday for him and me as well. Well, it is Ben, of course. Ben's here to end the week with myself. Afternoon, Ben. Good afternoon. I'm really excited about today. Super pumped for the freebie frenzy. It has got to be a farm. Also, super pumped today because we're going to have a bit of a debate during our uh, wake up call today. Now, uh, we've had a bit of a debate here over the uh, course of the last few days at um, Crafters. Uh, it, it's all, all to do with bread. And um, <laughs> no, we talk about the serious subjects here at Crafters TV. Um, we want to know what are your favourite local bread fairs that may be uncommon in other parts of the world or maybe in other parts of like the country, right? Um, so, for example, we've got for you today, I mean, I, being a southerner, I've no idea about this, but we've got this here, right, which is called a Stotty Cake. Now, I'm going to have to read this, right? But this is originally uh, a delicacy originating from the north northeast of England. It's a form of large unleavened bread, like a large bread bun of dense dough. And apparently the stotty uh, gets its name from the Geordie word stotted, uh, which means to bounce or bang. Uh, stotty dough is typically bounced or stotted, stotted off the bottom of the oven to bake which created its flat round shape. Uh, Stotty is best served with ham and peas pudding. So a little bit later, I mean, what would you call this? Where you, where you are, what would this be where uh, you are? I mean, I, I, for me, that, I would say that's like a, it's like a fat pita bread. Yeah, I'd say the same. Um, but it's a stotty up here and apparently best served with ham and peas pudding. So we've got ham and peas pudding in here. Um, being a sudden, I've never had this. So we're going to try this a little bit later on and see what we make of it. But let uh, here we go. This is a stotty, right? So um, in the socials, what would you call that? But also, this is the other debate, right? Depending on where you are in the UK, this has a completely different name as well. So Craig, for example, you being from Scotland, what would you call that? That would be a roll. Right. See, I would... Well, depending on what I had in it, if I had cheese in that, that would be a cheese roll. However, if I was using that at a barbecue, I would call that a bap. Right. No, to say, no, it doesn't matter whether it's a burger on a roll or a bacon on a roll. It's a roll. Ham roll. So I'm going for bap. That one, um, producer Johnny and Charlotte saying that one was a bun. This one, yeah, I see, I'd say that was a, 
I would say that was a bun. I'd say that's a roll as well. Sausage on a roll. But sausage on a roll. Sausage on yeah, but that's not a sausage roll, is it? That's, that's not that's, that's a sausage. So, that's a sausage on a roll. Yes. And this is a sausage is roll. It, that is a sausage roll. Do you want to know what, like there's so many questions they're asking you here? Do you have sausage rolls in America? Not sausages on a roll, but do you have that there? Like sausages in pastry, sausage roll. Yeah. And, all, and also the other question, right? The, the picture previous to that, the sausages in the round roll, that's not a thing, is it? If you're having sausages, you have them in the No, the long... no, no, no. You do? No, when you, well, on the long roll, yeah. that is like a, a Frankfurt sausage. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put uh, what I would say is a, a real sausage in one of those long rolls. In one of those long rolls, it's like, Johnny, you might, but well, I, I would. I would put a real sausage in that long roll. That's a roll. hot dog. No, it's not a hot dog. It is a hot dog. No, it's only a hot dog if it's a Frankfurter or a, what you would call a wiener inside that roll. Wiener! <laughs> but I wouldn't put a sausage in a hot dog roll. I would put it on a roll. No. No. So, you, a sausage, you, you, like the sausage is long, so you put the sausage in the long roll. You, why would no, you put it in something it, circular? No, that's a Frankfurt. No, you can have a Frankfurter in the long sausage. Right, <laughs> can you help us out? So much to chat about here as far as bread is concerned. Who knew that this would spark off such a debate? So get chatting to us please on the socials about breads. <laughs> and we're going to try the stotty a little bit later on uh, as well. So much to chat about. So I'll check your comments on the socials. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a fun Friday. Uh, and uh, Craig, what well, it you started already. Oh no, uh, it started already with your comments coming in. Uh, right, <laughs> uh, let's uh, put that to the side for now. Let's have a look to see what's going to be coming up. I got a funny feeling that's going to be. I think that's going to be going all day. Here we go. This is our crafters companion. This is our creator card. Now this is our freebie frenzy creator. card card so within this one here this is the bumper bundle so you will see within this set here what you are getting is 12 elements so 14.99 here in the UK $19.99 for you guys stateside you buy the garden retreat and what you do is you get the abstract floral and the aged argyle for free free Free. Wow. I know, I know. Isn't that such a phenomenal deal when you're getting with that one? If you are, of course, in Club Inspire, you are going to be paying $11.99 here in the UK or $15.99. So that's one of the items that's going to be coming up within the launch day. So that is your Crafters Companion Freebie Frenzy Create a Card Bumper Collection with 12 elements. It's 12 elements because you do get outline dies, etc., etc., within that one there. Phenomenal. Double sided dies when it comes to the the freebie frenzy wow absolutely wow so have a look at them so it works out that you buy retro 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 floral, retro, floral. retro 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 <laughs> 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 break it down Wiener. <laughs> so you've got your retro floral and you are then going to be getting the pretty florals and the heart to heart for free for free for free <laughs> $24.99 here in K twenty nine ninety five for you guys stateside. That means you are, of course, in Club Inspire. You're going to be paying nineteen ninety nine here in the UK. Twenty three dollars ninety six for you guys stateside. You oh. can tell how this day is going to be panning out. And let me tell you, the boss is in later on, and it's going to carry on. Don't say oh oh Johnny because you know it's going to carry on when she comes in. It's Friday. Then we've got another one for you here, still all about our freebie frenzy. This is our crafter's companion, freebie frenzy, stamp and die, bumper bundle with 72 elements in total. You buy the best of British, beach day, you get life's a beach, and peekaboo Santa. For free! For free? Free, wow. I tell you. $14.99 here in the UK, $16.95 for you guys stateside. If you are in the Platinum, wait for it. You're then going to be paying, are you ready? $19.99 here in the UK. And... That can't work. That's more. That doesn't work. That, that's, that's more expensive. More. You are paying eleven ninety nine here in the UK. Thirteen dollars <laughs> fifty six for you guys if you are platinum. <laughs> I know that is one heck of a deal where we are charging you more. 
<laughs> not at all, not at all. That is a phenomenal day if you are platinum. Now, just to say as well, even if you're not in platinum, $14.99, $16.95 is what everyone pays. Do go into Club Inspire and we'll tell you more about that later on. But we cannot have a Friday without a brand new launch. Wait for it, it's a brand new launch, but we are giving you our creations kit. This is our colorist collection and free Blended Mandala Discovery Kit with 37 elements. Free? Guys, free. This is Spectrum Noir. This is a brand new launch. $49.99 here in the UK. For you guys stateside, $69.95. However, you are in platinum. You are then going to be paying, are you ready for this? $39.99 or of course $55.96 for that one there. So that is your colorist, uh, your creations kit colorist collection. It's all the C's and your flea free, 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 <laughs> blended mandalas discovery kit as well, where you're getting the 37 elements. Now, you're going to be going with your launch day, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Then you're going to be coming back for the Colour Me Happy. That's going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. here in the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern time, double Sarah. So Sarah and Ben are going to be with you with the two shows that you can see right there. Now Ben, I think I just need to calm down for a moment or two, get myself sorted and what I'm going to do is let's just throw back over to you where we get some more professionalism into play. From who? Oh from me! Sorry, um, y yes, professionalism is what you want, this side of the studio. Um, we've got loads of hellos, so I'll tell you what, Craig, I'll let you do the hellos just before we tell you about our Get It, Got It Good. I mean, the debate on the bread has just gone, um, well, it's gone silly, really. Carolyn says, don't start the debate, Ben, already done it. Um, Diane says, this is a large bap. Apparently, that's what you'd call it. Um, Linda says, a balm cake. Is that a balm cake? Is that right? A balm cake? I've not heard of that. Um, Michelle Parsons on YouTube says, if, ro if a roll has jam or meat inside in the US, it's called a collash. Collachi? Collash? Help me with that one, please. Uh, Sandra says, I'm originally from uh, Colour Coats near North Shields, and there's nothing better than halving a stotty and making pizza with them. I can see that, actually. Yeah. I can see that that would make a good kind of base for a, for a pizza. Uh, Mariah saying, no sausage rolls in New York, but we do have cheese bread and that's yummy. Yes, we have cheese bread here, very nice. Um, and the, 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 the other debate which is raging at the minute is whether or not you can put your hot dogs in a finger roll. So Trish says, only hot dogs in a finger roll. Thank you. No, normal sausages go in a bun. No, 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 let me have my say first. All right, then you talk. If you put like a Frankfurter or a wiener in a finger roll, that is a hot dog, right? If you can also put a normal sausage, like a butcher's sausage into the finger roll, and that's a sausage in a roll. You no, don't put sausages in a round. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you, well, the picture's wrong guys you, you put a sausage on th that's a sausage on a roll i wouldn't put i wouldn't put well no a sandwich is bread you put slice. a beef burger in that you put yeah, a beef burger in there i know but that's a roll bread bread isn't a roll what a sausage sandwich is on a slice of bread yes that is a sausage on a roll it is but you wouldn't i wouldn't put that sausage in <laughs> A, a, a finger roll. I would use a Frankfurt or a hot dog. Well, I, well, I would say you can put your Frankfurt or your sausage in a finger roll. I wouldn't say that you would put your sausages <laughs> in a circular roll like we're seeing there. That you'd put a burger in that, and you would put a sausage like that. You put what you want in it, really. But I'm just saying, maybe it differs from north to north to south. I don't know really. But anyway, um, keep those comments coming in. Also, let us know about any breads where you are that aren't known anywhere else. Like, for example, we had um, the, uh, the collage, Michelle. I've never heard of that. Is that a thing uh, just, it, just where you are in the US or is that like a US-wide thing? Um, keep the arguments coming. <laughs> I never knew that we would be arguing about, about sausages um, <laughs> and wieners and frankfurters and... Oh, dear. Let's get back on to... Talking about craft. Get it, got it good. Go. 
Oh dear. Um, if you are looking for storage solutions, then this is great, your Scrap Master. So basically, you are going to get within this deal a uh, five pack of your Scrap Master Scrap Organizers. So they're full of little pockets to be able to put in all your bits of um, loose scrap cards, uh, things like your dies, your stamps, and all sorts. So you're paying for that, but then you're also going to get three five packs of the stamp pockets as well. So again, super for using all of your Totally Tiffany goodies at $25.99 or at $34.99. And as I say, you get those 15 uh, stamp pockets for free with the Get It Got It Good deal, which is live until the end of the week or whilst stocks last. Uh, ah, now, our, um, our, one, of, one of the bosses, Erin, uh, has just said she's American and she says that both hot dogs and sausages can go in a finger roll in the US. Yes. Uh, circular is never seen in the US, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm American at heart then. Maybe that's where I, where I get it from. But anyway, um, over to that guy over there who just puts his sausages in whatever he fancies. Create a card. Create a card. Coming up later, later on, <laughs> later on within these ones, these ones here. <laughs> later on, these ones here. We're going to demo them just in a minute or two. Cut into your card. card. <laughs> Cut into your card stock. You can use them as stencils. You know, if you want to <laughs> through them. Ink through them, paste through them, spritz through them. This is your crafter's companion. This is part of your freebie <laughs> frenzy. Create a card bun. Bun all 12 elements. In total within these ones here. Don't, don't just think of them as cards. Little gift boxes. You know, because you can then be cutting. <laughs> through them here. Another one that you've got into these ones here, $14.99 here in the UK, $19.99 for you guys stateside. If you are platinum, you're $11.99 or $15.99 for you guys stateside. Crafters can... <laughs> don't go down UK. Um, I, I'm away to take a very quick drink, Ben. Any comments? <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Trish says on Facebook, <laughs> only hot dogs in a finger roll. Normally sausages go in a bun, which is what I was, what I was talking about. Uh, Mariah says on Facebook, uh, we have what's called a beef on weck in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> a beef on weck. A sandwich made with roast beef on a cummel weck roll. <laughs> A roll that is topped with kosher salt and caraway seeds. Georgiana on Facebook says, Good morning, guys, from Clearwater, Florida. I have pepperoni bread. <laughs> My kids love it. Um, and Lena on Facebook says, We have sausage muffins in Denmark. You put pieces of sausage in the bread dough and bake it in muffin tins. We need to have a quick break. And I'll tell you what, uh, let's have a look at this video here, which will give you details about our US delivery. We'll come back. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. 
Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Don't you hate it when you turn up on TV and you're wearing exactly the same clothes that you were wearing when you recorded that video? But never mind. Um, listen, thank you for all the messages coming in. I think we've just about pulled it together. We will come back to talking about roles in just a few moments time because there's loads coming in, but we need, we're need we here to talk about craft really, aren't we? We're not bread roll TV, we're crafters TV. So let's get back on over the other side of the studio and uh, see uh, some demos. What are you gonna be working with, Craig? Right, let's have a look. This is what's coming up in the show on launch day uh, later on. So as I say, it's all about the freebie frenzy. So let's have a look on uh, the screen just in a moment or two. This is what you're going to be getting. Crafter's Companion, the freebie frenzy, create a card bumper bundle. 12 elements in total within this one here. Now within this one here, you've got your 12 elements because you've got your uh, function of being able to use the background die as well as the focal die as well. Interchange if you want, 14.99 here in the UK, $19.99 for you guys stateside. If you're platinum, $11.99 or uh, $15.99. Now, when I was saying you've got the outside die as well as the decorative die, this enables you to cut in and out of your card. So if you are want to do your inking, your backdrops, you can absolutely do that. Maybe pop your adhesives on the back, you absolutely can do. Cutting them out to create them into the corners, but then doing them into your mixed medias that we can see here. Another way, because you can cut into your card, what about doing a little bit of a decoration on the backdrop so it could be a little gift of sweeties that you can see here, cutting them direct into the cardstock or again into the cardstock here. So what we're going to do is let's use these ones and let's show you what you can be doing with them. What's really good about these ones yep. is you can create really simple cards. Now I want you, while I'm doing this demo, to have a look at a certain sentiment that I'm going to be using all that I'm going to say is mystery bag. Whoa, okay, he's put it out there. So we're going to use the abstract floral for this one here. And then within this one, where you've got the cut in and cut out, your decorative die stays in place, your outline die stays in place uh, or removes it from your cardstock if you so wish. So what I'm going to do, six by six card. Now I'm going to pop this down into kind of the bottom right hand side bend so that we're getting that little bit of a border around here but then it's going to stay into place. So what we're going to then do is tape it in with our low tack tape and what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself a little bit more of a border because I'm a way to back the back in with some of our cardstock. Mm -hmm. So let's press that in and then it is a wafer thin die and it means then it's going to go through using your normal plate configuration. What you can then also use these ones for that look spectacular. Myself and uh, Joe done it uh, just well earlier on this week with the foil press where you can use your normal dies to do your foiling and the intricate detail within this one enables you to get that incredible detailed foiled yes. aspect. So if we see, this is what we call a pencil line. So this means that we can see all that area has been die cut just beautifully. What you might want to do as well at this point, it's not, you know, important to do it, but you can do it if you so wish. I'm putting my rubber embossing mat in. Uh -huh. I'm going to pop that over the top, plastic shim, not using the magnetic, top plate again. Running this one through, so what this does, is it helps emboss certain areas. Now, there's not embossing detail within the die. It rounds the edges. What it also does, any of the cut edges that's maybe, maybe there's just a few fibers that's grasping on. What the embossing does, it's, it just pushes it through and really finishes off that extra die cut. Okay. So what I can then do is if I come in and I'm going to carefully peel that one off, we're going to carefully peel this one off, then, if I come in here, let's bring in our tool. I'm going to use my dye brush and we're going to take out all these little bits. 
what that's going to give us is that really nice corner so we can go in take these ones bit so let's pop these little bits out let's bring in my pokey tool and we can then release these little bits here so let's pop all of these ones take these little bits out what I'm then going to do is let's take all that let's move that to the side we'll sort and tidy that in a moment okay now even if you were to do one one um, you know one, one layer at the back white on white it still works well but what we're going to do is let's come in I'm going to take my plates again yep so let's bring these ones in now I've taken a piece of our purple texture card now what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut a sentiment running it through is it like that for so using this sentiment that I've like that? taken from I just want you to know that this is the one that I've chosen oh, right. to use okay and running it through here so taking this one out so maybe familiar if you were to maybe oh, treat yourself to I've just I've just understood why he's saying sentiment I've mm -hmm. just understood why because of the I'll show you in a minute so <coughs> so then what we're going to do the reason I want to point that one out Ben is it's a relatively new launch yeah and still including things like that in our mystery bags yep it's relatively new that's like two weeks two weeks yeah two weeks of that yeah mm -hmm. so let's bring this one in now then what I'm going to do is bringing in another piece of purple card and it's big enough just to sit behind and what I'm going to do is let's use our dotty tape runner for this one and I'm going to bring in a piece of card stock simply to catch any of the adhesive bits okay so I'm going to go over and then what we're going to do is we're going to assemble it by using a, a double-sided die that I've created, a rose one, and we'll finish it off. Just to say, um, we've got more chat about um, bread in a minute, but Shadai is saying, Ben, who's in the gallery this morning, please? I mean, it's not my job to find out, to be honest. It's his job, isn't it? He hasn't done the, done the call yet. I've not done it yet, so let's do that right now. Good afternoon, Charlotte. Afternoon. Good afternoon, Johnny. Good afternoon. There you go, that's your team. Are you well today, Johnny? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Good, good, good. Glad to hear. Ready for the weekend, Johnny? Yeah, full weekend in here with Freebie Frenzy. Well, oh, hey. oh, they're rare to go as well. <laughs> Just as an FYI, anyone that watched the other day, Charlotte did manage to treat herself to a white chocolate Magnum. Oh, I've heard, I've heard about Magnum she, Gate. Yeah, Magnum Gate. Yeah. She, Was she really hungry? She... She was the bounce between her and Joe. Wow. Savage. I just think though, like if you're hungry, I don't know if like a Magnum is gonna, is gonna satisfy you. It's not the first thing I would go for if I was, if I was, if I was hungry slash hungry. I don't know if the Magnum would be my go-to thing. We, uh, for some reason, we got on the subject of, of ice cream or, or chocolate, which came with these ones oh uh, okay so that's why we got on to that kind of subject right i see i see so what i've done is i've layered up my 3d foam so yeah so that's why um uh so yes. chocolate on the brain chocolate, chocolate on turned the to magnums and then yeah yeah okay oh dear um still lots of chat coming in about um bread rolls uh, do you want some more of this now whilst you're sticking yeah go for it um, here in the US, rolls slash buns come in a variety of names and sizes, says Pamela. Okay. What, give us the names and the sizes then, Pamela. Let us, let us know. Um, mm -hmm. And Mary on YouTube says, I agree with Ben. Anything long goes in a bun or finger roll. Okay. Anything flat goes into a round roll. Yes. That's, yeah, see, Johnny's, Johnny's agreeing with me on that one. So uh, mm -hmm. going back to the whole thing that you can put a sausage or a frankfurter slash wiener into a finger roll. And um, uh, who was it was asking? Wendy was saying, what is a finger roll? I've only heard of a hot dog bun. Hot dog bun equals finger roll. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. There's no difference. There's no difference, is there, Craig? Uh, between what, sorry? Uh, a finger roll and a hot dog bun. Same thing. Isn't yeah, it? same thing. Same, same, same thing, thing, yeah. 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 Um, and Wendy says, and if it's long and skinny, it can go in a hot dog bun. 
Yeah. But, it, you, but also, I'm not just saying that, but you, you can have a smaller, uh, you, you can also have the smaller sausage going in your finger roll as well. It doesn't have to be the long Frankfurter wiener. Either or, either or. Uh, are you finished? Sorry. That's okay. That, okay. Thank you, Card. We're, uh, what we've done is we have used the die in the bottom corner. So we have got abstract florals. So we have got the uh, in the bottom corner here. So this is where I've used it as the die on its own. So what we've got is uh, we've got the corner here. So within this, we've used it on its own. So it cuts into the card, use the decoration. Then what we're able to do is finishing it off. So relatively simple. Now within this one here, what you can then do is maybe instead of a, a double-sided die, you might want to do a stamp or a topper. It's entirely up to yourself, but you can keep them very, very simple. If you've seen with the other samples, what you can then do, of course, is bring in the mixed media, the paste, the stencils, all these sorts of things. So uh, that is part of the launch day coming up, Crafter's Companion, the freebie frenzy, create a card die collection, bumper collection, where it's 12 elements in total, $14.99 here in the UK, $19.99 for you guys stateside. If you are platinum, you're going to be paying $11.99, or of course, you will be $15.99 for you guys stateside. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu is the place to go. I'm going to get myself sorted for the next demonstration, so let's go over to Ben, who's, uh, well, Gosh only knows what he's about to read out next. Well, you guys are sending the messages in, to be fair. Well, um, Patty Redmond on YouTube says, you can tell it is Friday. Absolutely. We're feeling a bit demob happy, I think, in here. Uh, and Mandy Doodlehands on YouTube says, I love how Craig uh, was trying so hard to keep it together. Um, and apparently, thank you, Michelle, uh, who was telling me about the, the role, the US role. Apparently, it's pronounced Kolachi. Kalachi uh, and Cindy says, I believe Kalachi is originally a Czech food item. Uh, in the 1800s, many immigrants brought special items in the US with names they knew previously. So there you go. Um, we'll keep the chat going about bread rolls in just a bit. And of course, we are going to be we are going to be tucking into um, the Stotty in just a few moments time. A, a North uh, East delicacy, apparently. Uh, and the best way to eat it is with ham and peas pudding. Now, I don't eat ham, uh, but um, our Laura has, has, has put this together with um, ham and peas pudding, I think in three bits of the stotty and then one with just the peas putting in there. Uh, I don't know whether or not I'm looking forward to eating that, but um, sure. we'll try it a little bit later on. Now, as well as talking about bread today, we're also talking about the freebie frenzy, of course, which is, well, it's officially launched. It is here and it runs through until uh, the 19th of May. And we have got a phenomenal deal for you coming up on launch day a little bit later on. Now. Um, the Gemini Go, such a super handy machine is this. Um, and one which you might want to add into your crafty stash. It's basically um, about portability and I suppose being able to take the power with you um, on the go. It's one of our smaller machines, um, six by three inch plates that you can use with this. But the great thing is that if you are um, using this at home, um, obviously you can plug this straight in and use it as you would do your other electronic um, uh, die cutting machines. However, what you've got the ability to do with this is pair it up with a power pack and then take it with you on the go. Now, um, best thing to do is check our website for details of the power packs you can pair it up with. Uh, but today we're bringing you the Gemini Go machine, okay? That comes as part of this deal. With the bundle, you're also going to get a selection of stamps and dies to get you started, which is absolutely fantastic. This is all included with the Gemini Go. So you're thinking to yourself, well, hang on a minute, this is pretty decent. I've got the machine. Machine. I've got loads of stamps and dies. I've got embossing folders there as well. I'm happy with that. £90 or $115. That to me looks like a fantastic deal. Well, that is where you would be wrong. Because whilst that is a great deal, it is not an unbelievable out of this world deal because as well as the Gemini Go and all of those stamps, dies and embossing folders, you're going to get this mystery bag. Now, if you look at your screen there, you'll see for yourself that this is worth 194.87 or 278.43. So that is over a hundred pounds worth or a hundred dollars worth of goodies inside. Now we had this chat yesterday. What's in the mystery bag? So I'm going to reveal a few of the items that will be in your mystery bag. What I must point out here is the bag that I've got here is the UK mystery bag. If you order more than one, you will get duplicates. The US mystery bag 
might be slightly different, all right? Um, it's getting packed in a US warehouse, but it will be similar to the contents that we've got here. What I will tell you straight off the bat is you are going to get in your mystery bag your plate storage for your Gemini Go. The plates are included. That is in the mystery bag. And also very handily inside the mystery bag, we're gonna give you uh, your battery booster cable as well. So when you are taking this on the go, that's the cable that you need to attach to your power pack. So two very handy items that you're getting for free inside your mystery bag. But what else is in here, I hear you cry. Do you wanna see some more? You are also going to get your color blend pencils uh, by Spectrum Noir for free. They're worth £25 or $30. And I know Craig has already alluded to this, so I'll show you. You're also going to get, bear in mind, the farmhouse collection literally launched about two weeks ago. You're getting that die included in the mystery bag for free. And very quickly, one more before we move on. I mean, there's tons in here. I could probably be here most of the morning. If you love the Nitwit collection, again, remember, yeah, I know, Johnny, I know. You know the Nitwit collection, right? We're bringing you uh, from the uh, Bloom and Grace collection, this gorgeous set of stamps too. That is just a whew, small smattering of what you're gonna get inside your mystery bag. There's still another one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about a seven or eight in here. Uh, and I'm talking cardstock. I'm talking dies, stamps. I'm talking wax seal kits. I'm talking embossing folders. It is an unbelievable deal. And you know what happens with these mystery bags. They fly out of the door. Yesterday, when we had mystery bags, we previewed them on Wake Up Call. Literally, we got to the show later on. 60, 70% of the stock had gone. We do not have as many US ones either as we do in the UK. So the US get ahead but that is a brief overview as to what you get in the mystery bag and remember you get the fabulous Gemini Go as well with even more uh, goodies to get you started it's a phenomenal buy do not miss out and of course if you're a platinum member you're not even paying that price on the screen it's 72 pounds if you're shopping in the UK uh, if you're shopping with us in the uh, US 92 dollars Stay tuned because we'll delve deeper into the mystery bag, possibly a little bit later on, but get yours now as I have a feeling that's gonna fly. It is our freebie frenzy event. We are officially launching it right now. It runs through until the 19th and Craig has got some more goodies to show you over the other side of the studio because basically uh, you're buying bundles and you're getting freebies within each bundle, Craig, aren't you? Yeah, you absolutely are. As Ben just showed you there, some of the things that you could be getting are simply quite but, whoa, 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 really, Johnny? Right, whoa. yo, whoa, those are you, because we can, the world of enjoyment of technology, we can tell some of you that are already on the website, don't buy the go on its own. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that, buy this deal that Ben was just going over a moment ago. You can see it right there. You're getting over a hundred pounds worth of freebies. So don't, don't buy it, take it out your basket. It's not often you'll hear us say, take it out your basket, don't. Get this one here. So go on to best place is obviously just go on our website, of course. Go into the wake up call and then uh, you'll see all the deals as well while you're there. So go for the one where you're getting all of these extras as well. Now, what you could be using with the Gemini Go, depending on the size of cardstock you'd be using, is what we are going over right now. This one is another one. Go figure of our freebie frenzy. So this one here is our crafter's companion. This is our freebie frenzy stamp and die collection. Now within this one here, it's the bumper bundle where you're getting 72 elements in total. Now I kind of managed to get in my way as well. I wanted something Christmassy. I was like, please can we have something? <laughs> and they went, all right, okay. So what we're giving you is our, look at all of that one. You're getting your beach day, you for free, you're getting Life's a Beach and Peekaboo Santa. Peekaboo. I uh, know, free for that one there. So $14.99 here in the UK, $16.95 for you guys stateside. Now, if you are platinum, when it goes for that set, it comes down even more. So by going in with that one here, you're going to be paying, you ready for it? 
$11.99 here in the UK, $13.56. Ridiculous. Still, it is, isn't it? Ridiculous. For all of that, you're paying for one, you're getting the other ones as well. Phenomenal. And a nice selection of going for Christmas and then summertime as well as springtime. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a look at the peekaboo because they're really cute, they're really cool, and because it's my opportunity to get all festive when it comes to Christmas. So what we're going to do, Ben, is I'm going to take a piece of our Nina cardstock for this one here. And what we've done is cut it to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And now this is the stamp and die set here. Now what it does, it enables you to create the peekaboo. Yeah. Simply, hence why the name. You've got the Santa looking out the front, but then what you've got is Santa looking out the back as well. So if you like your dimensional cards, your dimensional products, this is going to work well as well. So what we're going to do to start with is let's go in with, we'll go in with Santa himself. Uh -huh. This die matches Santa looking out, but it also matches Santa looking away. Oh, okay. So what we can then do as well, bringing in the sentiment die that says Santa. I like to do the die cutting first on this bit. Yes. So you're going to position where you want it to be, because what we're actually waiting to do in a moment is create an aperture because it's going to die cut along this area, the rest will stay in place, so we create our own aperture. You can determine if you want it to be lower down, if you want it to be higher up, and this is what I mean by, if you were doing this on a smaller piece of cardstock, which you can do, this would fit through your goal. So you can be using them for all these little cards and projects that you want to do. I never knew until yesterday, because yesterday on Cartload, uh, we had an individual item, which was um, the Peekaboo Elf. And now we've obviously got the little Santa. I always thought the Peekaboos were just the, the little furry creatures. So I knew we had the little cat and the dog and the rabbit. I never knew we had these characters as well. These are all new to me. Yeah, and there will be to some others as well. Mm. So some people might think, well, not crafters, because we know what we're like. We're never too, uh, too early to start Christmas. Certainly, well, here in the UK, it starts June time, yeah. and I know stateside, it's like a month or two after that. But if you've not seen these ones, because maybe you're new to us over recent months, so it means that this is now your opportunity to get a hold of these that you've maybe not seen, but then get a head start if you want to make really cute cards. So what I've done is I've positioned them so that the outline of the die is next to the sentiment. Uh -huh. But what you could do, Ben, you might want to have Santa on the left hand side and his head on the right hand side. Uh -huh. Have a little bit of a plate if you want to. Then what we can do is we're going to come in with our Gemini plates and we're going to run this one through. Uh, loads of chat still coming in. Uh, Rosalind saying, thank you Craig for providing inspiration for the dies uh, we already have but have not used. Uh, read the Gemini Go as well. Lots of excitement uh, about the Gemini Go with that mystery bag. Michelle saying, I love my Gemini Go. Uh, I keep it on my rotating board on my desk and use it regularly. Uh, and Eve B on YouTube says, I'm with you Craig. Christmas is so fun to prepare for. Far too short in celebration days. Well, I mean, when you think of it, we're pretty much halfway through May now already, aren't we? So, we're, I mean, we're almost halfway through the year. So Chris, Christmas is going to be here before you know it. it. It's not going to be long at all. Not going to be long whatsoever. So maybe you've seen these collections or these individual elements, you know, towards last year at Christmas time, but didn't get your hands on them. <laughs> you, you know what? It's worthwhile actually just sticking around until now before you get them yeah. with all of these frenzies. 225 days, Johnny says. You can tell he's a dad. He's going to be Christmas. The kids. Mr. Christmas. Johnny, please tell me you haven't got one of those counters on your phone, have you, that gives you a message. My, sister, my sister's got one of those. Gives her a little notification every day and tells her how many, how many days it is until Christmas. And she's one of those people that once Christmas is gone, like Boxing Day, she then posts up how many days it is till the next Christmas. Oh, see, no, I'm not like that. But because I love Christmas so much, I am one of those that come Boxing Day. Yeah. The, the tree in that stays up. Oh, but yeah. I, I don't play Christmas music. I what? don't watch Christmas films. What, off the Christmas day? Yeah. What Be do you like? Because it gets you all excited when Christmas has passed. Oh, so, uh, oh, Charlotte's the same as me on that one there. Well, yeah. I, I, I keep going up until like 12th night. I mean, we're still watching Christmas movies and playing Christmas music until like the 6th of January. No no, 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 I do, because that's what bugs me about the radio station. I don't know if it's the same in the US, but here in the UK, radio stations will play Christmas songs up until about 
I don't know, sort of Christmas afternoon, around about the Queen's speech time on yeah. Christmas afternoon, and then that's it. You don't get any more Christmas songs through like Boxing Day or the rest of December. And that's the way it should be, I no, think. No, I don't think it should. Yeah, because as I say, I remember, remember the year Polar Express came out? Yeah. Me and my friends went to see it the day after Boxing Day, and it is such a Christmas feeling film. Yeah. Now it got us all excited. But obviously we had to wait. It was like, oh, should have watched it before Christmas. So yeah, it's, it's by uh, yeah, Christmas films or music. Oh no, see I'm the other way because I'm, you, you get to Christmas day and you kind of like, oh that's it. But then if you continue to play the Christmas music and watch the Christmas movies after Christmas day, it kind of elongates the celebrations and that sort of fuzzy warm feeling that you have inside that Christmas is around. So that's why we continue to do it and keep watching movies um, and listen to the music up until, yeah, early January. Yeah, well, see, I don't need to elongate it because I start Christmas celebrations in, you know, about August. Oh, there. that's so... fair enough then. Home, home Alone on 1st of August, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's me. That's me. Although in saying that, uh, Home Alone 2 was on, was it last week or the week before on E... E4, film 4. No, it wasn't. Was it, it was, and I sat and watched it all. <laughs> ah. You know. You see, that's something I can't do, is watch Christmas films until, I would say our Christmas movies, we start watching around, I'd probably say middle of October. I'd say that's acceptable. Yeah. Actually, thinking of that, isn't that funny? I'm like that from right after Christmas, no Christmas films. Yeah, in the middle of May, it can come on the TV and I could quite easily you know, sit and watch it. Nah. Yeah, I kind of contradict myself in that one, but yeah, straight after Christmas, no, I'll wait until um, later on in the year. I find that really bizarre, knowing I know, how much you eh? love Christmas. I would, I would have thought you would keep going for as long as, you know, even up until the end of December and then kind of knocking it on the head on the 1st of January, you know, after, after New Year's Eve. I find that, I find that interesting about yeah. the phrase. Mm. Considering as well that I don't take my tree and decorations down until like 12 days after. Yeah. But mm. yes, um, I know, I'm, I'm just a weird sausage, so I am. <laughs> Don't start talking about sausages again. Oh, Here dear. we are. So what I've done there is using the stamp. Now you could be using your 4x4 stamping platform. I've got a really small acrylic block that I tend to use my small stamps with. Using the stamp, what we're able to do, is uh, did I pop it underneath? We'll find it again in a minute. The stamp actually works in conjunction with the outline of the die cut. And then there is dies out there, aperture dies, where you can then uh, actually use it to create a, a square or a half circle if you want, or simply by using your craft knife as well as your ruler, I've created my own aperture. And what I've done is where the die cut ends, I've just created my aperture by going all the way round. What I'm going to do is let's straighten one side here. So let's go and make them the same. Actually, I'm not because, simply because, I do have a matte layer already. So if I make that smaller, I don't think it's going to work with what I had planned. Then what I'm going to do is, using that same die where we've got Santa, I'm then going to take a little bit of craft card and we're going to die cut the Santa out and then what we'll do is fussy cut it and then we'll do a quick bit of colouring and colour Santa Claus in. Uh, um Rhonda says, it's Christmas all year long here at CC. Well, it is, isn't it? Pretty much with the deals that we give you. And uh, Sarah Schaefer says, I could listen to Christmas music all year long. I love it. In fact, if I have to do some serious cleaning and I'm not in the mood, I'll put Christmas music on and it gives me energy to do what I have to do even in July. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Uh, Michelle says, the Hallmark Channel has Christmas movies every Thursday or Friday night. Uh, throughout the year helps to keep that holiday feeling. Do you have the Hallmark Channel over here? We do, yeah. Oh, do we? And we have, well, during the year it's Movies 24, and then round about October, November, it changes to Christmas 24. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one of those that has not the most famous films out there, you know, the, the ones that go under the radar, and you get some cracking ones on those ones. Oh, is it kind of one, that, like the movies that go straight into like the DVD bargain bin? That's right, those yeah. Those ones. Those ones. Yeah. Quest with questionable... Um, acting. Um, Karen says, I watch Hallmark Christmas movies as soon as they start showing them. Um, I'm with you, Craig. I love to watch Home Alone. I mean, it's the, it's more, I mean, I say it's the best. I prefer Home Alone 2, to be honest. I think Home Alone 2 is my favourite one. Oh, is it? It's my, uh, well, it's my favourite film ever. Yeah. Not just at Christmas. It's oh, my like, favourite film ever, yeah. Such a good movie. 
Yeah. That's a good movie. I, Home Alone 3 is watchable. Yes, agreed. And then like Home Alone 4, 5, 6, Bone Alone, all these other ones. Have you seen Bone Alone? I've seen bits of Bone Alone. Right, Bone Alone. I bought it for a joke uh, for someone, for a, um, for a, uh, a Secret Santa present. It's basically a dog version of Home Alone. Mm -hmm. And it is terrible, isn't it, Craig? It is, yeah. 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 To be fair, some of the acting's better than like Home Alone <laughs> 4 and 5, but it's, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I know. Were there five, five, home, five home Alones and Bone Alone, wasn't there? Is that Sorry? Right? Five Home Alones and then Bone Alone. S there's six Home Alones and Bone Alone. Six? There's six now, yeah. Oh dear. I know. How many I times know. can you forget your kids and leave them at home? Exactly, I know. Imagine if Home Alone was to happen nowadays, eh? Oh my gosh. Wow. Parents would be hauled over the coals, wouldn't they? They certainly would. When are we going to eat the Stotty, by the way? Oh, yeah, we need to eat the Stotty, eh? Okay. Righty, -o. so let's uh, carry on with this bit here. Let's finish this one up so we can have a little bit of a nibble on the Stotty. So I'm going to go in my tri blends here and I'm going to go in with the dark red blend. So we're going to go and I'm going to coat, give it a coat, coat in with the light. We're going to go in with the dark and you don't need to do lots of colouring because these are nice and small so you can go in direct with a one colour shade or if you want to come along and do your blending then you can so I'm going to do these bits here and that was the dark red blend and let's go in with the little ice grey shades let's go in with IG, we've got IG2 here let's see here we go, we've got, uh, nope, so we'll go and we'll go with this grey anyway. IG6. So we're going to go in here and then because I don't have an ice grey too, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is let's do ice blue blend, the lightest tone. And what I'm going to do is just a tiny little, little dots underneath his beard and around his hat. I'm going to go under the bottom here. And then what I'll do is let's start to assemble this and we're going to make a bit of a shaker card. Yay! <laughs> you excited with that one, are you? Yay! Yay! Some people around my area, says Rhonda Crawley, don't take down their Christmas decorations until late February and sometimes March, depending on the weather. Oh, okay. Um, the, the, on my drive back to the flat here, there is someone um, in, in the town just down the road who's still got their Christmas lights up now as well. Have they? Yep, still got their Christmas lights up. Where are, where are we? May, middle of May. May. Um, Aisha Dennison on Facebook saying, we, were, we, are, we are talking all things Christmas. Yippee, my fave holiday. Yes, and it will be here before you know it. And that's why, again, this deal is great, isn't it? So you can pick up all these Christmas goodies uh, for an absolute bargain price. You can, you can. Even at the point of uh, gifts, Imagine popping this in as a secret Santa, this one here. Yeah. You know, then you could be doing that one. Nice just to have these ones in with the set that you've got. You might already have one of them. You've not got the other two. At that price, you know, I wouldn't think twice of thinking, you know what, I've already got, say, the Santa one. I've not got the other two. So for that price, let's just do it. Yeah. Let's just go for it. Yeah. I was just thinking, actually, um, talking Secret Santa. Did you ever find out who got your... Did you find out who got your Secret Santa last year? Um, what was it? Well, I was just thinking, because my Secret Santa, I never found out um, who got mine. And um, it was a, it basically, it was a calendar uh, with... Um, someone had basically been on my Facebook page and made me a little calendar. And it's now on uh, me, me worn at home. Who did mine, Johnny? Oh, was it Kelly? Ah, oh. oh. it's really cute. So it's just yeah, like your you know your twelve month calendar. Yeah, and then you got all your dates in there, obviously. And then um, she'd put little um, pictures of like me and the family, you know, the kids, the dog, and stuff. Yeah, oh that's really good. Ah, oh. I knew it'd be someone like Kelly. You yeah, see? someone you know thoughtful. You see, what I was I was thinking there, I was getting mixed up because my secret Santa that I I don't know who got me it was my Philip Schofield T-shirt that. TV presenter here in the UK. And so that was your secret Santa, was it? So that was my secret Santa. Oh. But someone else, I don't know if it's a family member, if it's someone here, if it was a crafter, someone contacted CBS in America 
and got me a signed Judge Judy and uh, Bart, the security guy, picture, autograph. What's the security guy called? Bird. Bird? Or Bird. B-I-R-D. Oh. Bird, yeah. Officer Bird. I've not watched Judge Judy for years. Well, I have her on every day. Is, is, is what, she, what she does is similar to um, Judge Rinder, isn't it? Correct? Is Judge it? Judy's real, though. Ah? Isn't Judge... What? Judge... Judge... I, 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 Ju Judge Judy is, is, is real. Right. Ju judge Rinder, he is a real judge. Yeah. But some of the cases are, are very questionable. Oh. As to, uh, yeah. What, you mean they make it up? I, 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 I can't, I can't <laughs> say. I, I've read things <laughs> I, I wouldn't possibly say, but yes. Um, judge Judy is, is re the cases are real. Oh. The rulings are final. This is her courtroom. This is Judge Judy. What are you doing there, the start of the programme? That's the start of the programme. Ah. What channel is she on then in the UK? Oh gosh, she's on reality. Yeah. She's on rea reality CBS. Yeah. In our area, we have the channel Tyne and Weir. She's on that one. What channel do we have around here? Tyne and Weir? Tyne and Weir. Oh. Yeah. It's a channel on Sky anyway, but depending on what region you're in, yeah. it changes. Oh. So obviously in Scotland, it's a Scottish channel, but it's still on it. So she's on a number of channels here. I wonder if she's UK. a crafter. I wonder if we could get her on your wake-up I course. wonder. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I wonder if she's a crafter. It would be nice to know. Judge Judy on Wake Up Call. How excited would you know, be about that? I how good that? would that? Do a little bit of crafting with Judge Judy and Bird. <laughs> I think that would be good. Bird? I yeah. Got What's he called? Officer, Officer Bird. Officer Bird. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she wants to have a little go at the peekaboos. Create a little Santa Claus peekaboo that I've done on this one here. What we've got here is our little Santa Claus. Now, with that background stamp, what you're able to do is create the background of the Santa. So you could be, it could be the other way. Instead of him looking out, it could be that you've seen the back of him. But we've created that shaker aspect here. What you've also got is you've got sentiment stamps as well. So you could carry on in continuation with the word Santa. So with that one there, what you have then got is the ability to do lots of different kind of cards and projects when it comes to uh, your crafter's companion, Freebie Frenzy Stamp and Dice Set. Lovely stuff. Um, where, do you get, where do you get that shaker glitter, says uh, Lena? Is it on the website? It is actually. It's part of Creative Expression, so it's on our website that you'll be able to find them all on there. Um, and just uh, a lot of you sort of tuning in for the first time right now and going, what's going on here with the prices? Michelle's saying, I was shocked at how low some of the prices are on today's specials. Yet yeah, we have launched our uh, freebie frenzy today, which runs through until the 19th. So you're going to see in all of the bundles that we bring you here on the shows, across the websites as well, um, you're going to see freebies within um, each of those bundles. I mean, there are some amazing deals to be had and we've only scratched the surface uh, this morning. We'll come back and highlight a few of the big ones in just a few moments time for you. We're also chatting today about bread um, and actually what you call uh, different bread items where you are. We've already had a, a big debate about baps and buns and rolls and uh, fingers and uh, hot dog rolls. We, we've chatted about that, but we've also been chatting about uh, this uh, delicacy from the Northeast, which is called a stoi. Stoi. Um, because, uh, now, now let me get this wrong. I'm going to try and do this without my notes. Basically, the word stotted means it, it's like bounced or banged. So this bread, it's like unleavened bread, is like bounced or banged off the bottom of the oven to give it its, its shape. Now, I've never had a stoi mum. But we're going, to, um, we're going to have a, a taste of this now. I mean, what would you call this? Where you are, right? Whether it be in the UK or in the US, what would you call that? Some people call that a balm cake. Um, it's called a stotty up here in the Northeast. And apparently the best way to eat it is with um, ham and peas pudding. Now, uh, thank you to lovely Laura who's um, put this together for us. Uh, I don't eat um, uh, meat, so I've got, a, I've got a peas pudding quarter of the stotty. And uh, I've also got, for you, Craig, a ham and peas pudding. So should we give this a try? I'm up for it if you are. What's peas pudding, though, is the other thing I would ask you. What, it, so is it just mushed peas, isn't it? But that's mushy peas, then, isn't it? Yeah, true. Do you want to take your... What one? What, what's mine? This, this one. That one, now. Yeah. There you go. So enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Split yellow peas, apparently. Do you want to have you you have your you have your bite then? And see what you make. I'm gonna take a big uh, mouthful. You know, I'll be here for yeah. a while eating. Okay. What do you? Uh, what's that like? Good. Tasty. Not so sure. I'm not just that, that face isn't a face which says I'm really enjoying this. Actually, the bread's nice. The bread that I'm focusing on, I wouldn't necessarily have it with peas. Peace pudding on it. Okay, you're not going to spew, are you? No, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying not to be rude. Ah. And talk with my mouth full. Obviously, I have to be, so I'll try and be polite. Okay. Um, it's nice. For me, it would be better just with the ham on it. Right. But, you know. Um, well, I'll have a bite of mine. So, what my, I mean, mine has literally just got... Um, <laughs> mine's literally just got a bit of peas, peas pudding in there. So, I'll just have a... like I'm a slab. Oh, now I like the bread. I like the texture. The peas pudding that literally does just taste like like cold squashed peas. Mm -hmm. So not necessarily something I would go. Hmm. I fancy a sandwich. I'm going to get some cold squashed no. peas and put them in there. Um, but I mean, it's not something I would eat, eat again. Put it that way. I don't know if the ham makes it any better. You see, uh, well, yeah, because it takes some of the, the taste of the peas away. Because if I do happen to have te peas, if I have peas, I have them with a bit, you know, al dente, with a bit of a bite, and they're warm or hot. Mm. I wouldn't have them cold. Could you not just put, like, some like, che like cheese and onion in there and just have it as, like, a cheese and onion stock? Why not? You know, oh, right, okay. Um, I think it would taste brilliant with um, smoked bacon, crispy smoked bacon, yeah. Heinz tomato sauce. Yeah. Mm. Well, I. I like um, whoever it was earlier on who said to um, use the stotty as like a pizza base. That would be that would be nice actually. That would be. Put, yeah, a bit of tomato sauce in there, cheese on there. Producer Johnny saying put bacon in there, sausage, fried egg. Just I mean basically whack your breakfast in there. Uh, a breakfast stotty, he just said. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Laura, who's actually put these together for us, um, uh, well basically said rude. Um, um, so I mean it wasn't. I mean Laura, thanks, but it wasn't the. It maybe wasn't the best thing in the world. No, Johnny, we certainly don't have stotties with peas pudding and ham in Buckinghamshire. Um, thank you also to uh, Gillian on YouTube. He says, for months, my husband uh, thought Stotty was the name of the snack bar on Concert Market until I told him it was the large breakfast bar he so enjoyed. Um, so, so there you go. Um, I'm, I don't know whether I'm glad that I tried that or not, but at least I can say now I've, um, I've eaten a, uh, eaten a Stotty. You got any comments coming in, Craig? Uh, we've got... Um a few of you just quickly saying as well about some of the prices. Uh, a few of you also asking again about the glitter, so that's Creative Expressions on our website. Pamela on YouTube, isn't Judge Judy retiring this year? Yes and no, no. She's left CBS, she's not doing Judge Judy, she's going to another channel and doing Justice Judy. CBBs, if you say CBS. Oh, CBS. <laughs> yes, I thought you said she's like CBBs. CBs, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, so Craig, his name is Peter Hawken Bird, B-Y-R-D for oh. short, uh, Laura Middleton on YouTube saying, last time I make you guys food. Uh, quite literally, Laura, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Laura's last day today. Yes. Laura's last day today. You better get on over there and make a card then. It's done. Um, just whilst you uh, are heading that way, uh, no, it's actually, it's not too bad. I like Laura, if, I know you're still watching, the, the, the stotty is nice, it's just the, <laughs> it's just the peas pudding is a bit of a, uh, not, probably nice on its own, maybe with fish and chips. But anyway, let's move back on to talk about our freebie frenzy, because that is what is happening today. We've launched it officially, it is here, the freebie frenzy. There's so many bundles that you're going to see over the course of the next few days that you can get your hands on where you will get freebies. My favourite bundle, which we, I suppose, are officially launching on launch day a little bit later on, is this one here. But now is the time to get your hands on it, because once everyone joins us a little bit later on as it gets busier, this is going to fly. So, we're bringing you the Gemini Go. Um, so this is the um, smaller electronic machine that we've got. Um, uh, the plate size in this six by three. Uh, you get all of the plates in here that you need to get going. You get your power cable with this as well. So you can use this as an electronic die cutting and embossing machine at home. But the brilliant thing about the Go is um, with the, uh, the cable, 
which is in the mystery bag, which we'll talk about in just a second, you can attach that to a power pack and then have that power, have the, um, the electricity, if you like, on the go. You can take this with you. And that is the idea uh, behind the Gemini Go. Now, as I said, you've got the machine in there. Uh, you've got your uh, power cable to be able to plug in at home too. And you've got all of the plates that you need as well. For £90 or $115, amazing. However, also, you're going to get today with the Gemini Go a selection of goodies to work with it. So you're gonna get stamps, you're gonna get um, those gorgeous stamps and you're gonna get uh, dies. You've got in here 3D embossing folders, you've got normal embossing folders too and all of this is included in that price of 90 pounds or $115. So that is pretty awesome, correct? Yes, however, it gets much, much better because not only do you get the machine with all of the goodies that I've just shown you, you are also going to get a mystery bag. Goodies inside here are worth over £100 or $100. Phenomenal buy. Now, what I will say is this is the UK bag, okay? The US bag is being packed in the US, so you will get items similar to what is in the bag here, but it won't be identical, all right? But what you do need to know is that the value for money is off the chart. Two things to show you that you are gonna get. You're gonna get your bag here for your plates for your Gemini Go, super handy. And I love the fact that we put in the mystery bag your battery booster cable too. So that is the cable you need to attach to your power pack, which you can get separately. So you, then you've got the power of the Gemini Go on the go. Those are in the bag, but what else have I got in here? I hear you ask. Well, let me show you. You're going to get your color blend pencils. These are worth on their own, 25 pounds, 24.99 or $29.99. Those are coming to you in this mystery bag. Also, let's just, hang, hang on a minute, let's pick out a few other goodies that I didn't show you last time. Now, again, think about items which launched recently. That farmhouse collection, do you remember about two weeks ago? We're popping in the wax seal kit in your mystery bag. That is included, literally launched about two weeks ago. It is in the mystery bag. Now, if you love cards that do things, have got that kind of interest about them, you'll love our um, twirling characters. The Twirling Cat Stamp and Die Set is included in your mystery bag. Shall I show you something else that's in here as well? Go on, one more thing then, one more thing. Uh, you are also going to get from the Knitwit Collection, Bloom and Grace, all of those stamps too. That is just a little bit of a sneaky peek into your mystery bag. There's another one, two, three, four, five. There are seven items, I think, inside here. I'm talking embossing folders, I'm talking cardstock, I'm talking paper pads, I'm talking dies. I am talking literally one of the best deals we've done in a long, long time. Grab it today you will not be disappointed. If you haven't yet got the Gemini Go, this is an absolutely brilliant excuse to grab it. You're not paying 90 or 150 either because I know loads of you are platinum members. 72 pounds or 92 dollars, grab it now. You will not be disappointed. You may well be disappointed though if you leave it and wait because as I say yesterday when we had some mystery bags on the channel, they were selling out like you would not believe. So don't miss out on this deal. If you've ever wanted to get a Gemini Go, in my mind, this has got to be the day to go for it. Just one of the collections, as I say, that we're doing on our freebie frenzy. Launching it officially today, runs through until the 19th of May. Check the website for full details on all of the bundles that we've got and get shopping. Right, I was just about to say, I'm gonna take another bite of that stotty, but I'm not. I'm gonna sit here and uh, look through your comments whilst Craig gets ready to show you some more demos the other side of the studio. What are you focusing on now, Craig? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is what we're going to be uh, focusing on. That's coming up later on as well. Everything is still part of that freebie frenzy. So this is our crafter's companion, freebie frenzy, double-sided dies. This is the bumper element. So you're getting three elements in total, double-sided. So if you think about it, you've got dies on the opposite side. So it's kind of like six dies. They do layer up each individual one. So these ones here, you can see you've got all three of them here. You buy the retro floral and you get the pretty florals and the heart to heart for free. For free? For free. Whoa. Double sided, create a card and edgeable. 
phenomenal. $24.99 here in the UK. You guys stateside, $29.95. If you are in Club Inspire, £19.99. Or for you guys stateside, $23.96. Now, some of you are still relatively new to our double-sided collections. So this is then the perfect opportunity to get your hands on these ones and give them a try. What you will need when it comes to double-sided dies is our double-sided plates. Go across on our website and whether it's the A5 ones or the A4 ones, you will need them to use your double-sided dies, but you, you need two and you get two in the set. So what we can do is let's have a look at the creator card, and this is the retro floral. Now what I've done is I've taken some coloured cardstock. This is from our 12 by 12 textured, the farmyard 12 by 12 cardstock. And we're going to do another layer in a moment with white. Now with the double-sided, on one side you've got a lot of detail that die cuts out. Yeah. On the opposite side, you've got less detail that die cuts out. And these are only found at Crafter's Companion. They are, what's that word that I can never say, Ben? Patented. Pat that word for us at Crafter's <laughs> they Companion. They that word. I just can't say it. Patented. Pain Patent. Patented. Pay. Pa Patent. Patent. Id. Id. Yeah. You'll only find them here at Crafter's Companion. <laughs> what these also do is they've got an outline die as well. So they will cut out of your cardstock. So we are doing base cut and plate and our double sided die plate. We're going to do our cardstock with our die. What we're then going to do is bring in our next layer. So that's going to go face down. We're bringing in our next double sided plate and we're then going to bring in our top plate from our Gemini. So we're going to run that one through the Gemini Junior for this one. Although it's A5, that'll obviously still go through your large Gemini as well. So when it comes to double-sided, as you can tell, one pass and it cuts the front as well as the back. Alternatively, you know, you don't have to use them to layer up. If you want to do individual layers, you can do. There's other ones out there on our website where each individual layer works perfectly on its own. Whereas you see with this one, you could potentially use it on its own, yeah. but this is where it really stands out by using it in conjunction with the opposite side that we're away to show you. Let's go in with this one here. There is little release holes, so just find a few of them, pop them out. Whatever you do when it comes to double-sided dies, don't do what I tend to do with normal dies and give them a tap off the side oh, of your yes. workbench. One, I don't do it now here because we've got new counters. So if I do do it, I do it against my craft bag, but I never do it with double-sided dies because you don't want to damage them. Yes. So simply, like you would do with your normal dies if needed, I'm taking my die brush and I'm going to take all these little bits out, Ben. Uh, Craig and Ben says, Patty, I give you both credit for trying something new and different. I always say you never know unless you try it. Yeah, Patty, that's great. And that's why I try and always encourage my kids to try new stuff as well when it comes to food. Because, you know, you don't want kids to be... I don't mind if my kids try something they don't like it. It annoys me when they go, oh, I don't like that. And you say, well, have you tried Not it? Never tried it. Never tried it. Well, how do you know you don't like it? Uh, and by the way, our, our Liam just came in a minute ago and uh, he had a little sticker on him saying, I love peas pudding. I was like, nah, not really. And he said peas pudding in um, Stotty is one of his... One of his favourite things. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's plenty, plenty Liam, to go around. There's plenty to go around in here, literally. I mean, it's hardly been hardly been touched, Liam. If you want to come back and uh, and, and grab yours, um, and uh, Aisha on Facebook is saying, in the US, the round roll is uh, typical of a muffaletta. a New Orleans sandwich tradition, and a muffaletta. Uh, they're fantastic. It's made with sandwich meats and an olive and a hot peppered spread. It's a wonderful sandwich. The hoagie of Louisiana. The what? I don't even what? understand what I'm reading here. The bread is leavened though. So what, what? A muffaletta, I don't know. And what is that? What is a hoagie? I used to work with a, I used to work with a guy called hoagie. Did you? Hoagie, yeah. John Hogarth, I called him hoagie. What is a hoagie though? What is a muffaletta? Johnny, don't say he does it like a muffaletta. What is that? Well, I don't know. What, what does a muffaletta look like? Like a round, it's like a round Sicilian sesame bread. So it doesn't like, a, so that, that's like a muffaletta, right? Which is also like a hoagie. What does a hoagie look? Can you just have a quick look at a hoagie? H-O-A-G-I-E. A-G-I-E, hoagie. He's just having a look now. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, be careful how you spell it on uh, Google. Ah, he's just having a look, anyway. Okay, well thank you, Aisha. So muffaletta. 
Oh, Hoagie looks more like a tiger roll or a hedgehog roll that we have here. Do you have tiger? Do you have tiger bread in the US? Tiger bread and uh, and hedgehog bread. Yeah, it's like um, it's like your bread with a bit of like a harder like uh, top to it. Tiger bread, giraffe bread as well. It used to be called, I think, didn't it? Oh, I've never heard giraffe bread. Yeah, I've heard of tiger. I do like tiger bread. Yeah, I do. Tiger rolls. Yeah. Um, Sorry, just, I'm sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments coming through as well. Uh, and Lou, just going back to your, um, your uh, inability to say patented, Lou's saying you could try saying the American version of patented using a short A sound. Oh, yeah, patent, pa patented. Probably still can't even say that. Tr pa well, you can t t patented. What? Pat patented. 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 Patent patented. Pat patented. Patented. No, patented. I, just, I, can't, I can't get my mouth around it. It's like, it's, it. like, it's like pattern. Ted, like a, a bear that's patterned. Patent. Pattern, patterned bear. <laughs> you don't say bear. Patented. 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 There you go. Patented. Patented. Yeah, patented. Patented. Yeah, and then, and then if you want to say it the English way, you just lengthen the A. Patented. Patented. <laughs> Patented. I think we've kind of established I'll never be able to say it. No, it's fine. Never be able to say it. Uh, are you sure on Facebook saying, OMG, a hoagie is a submarine sandwich? Submarine sandwich? Submarine sandwich. I'm, I'm, I'm just losing. Uh, I, I've, I've no idea what's what anymore, really. No. From muffalettas to hoagies to stotties to baps to finger rolls to all the things that we've mentioned. I think I'm coming out of the show more confused about bread than when we started. Who would have thought bread could, could confuse us, eh? Uh, I mean, it doesn't take much, though, Craig, to be fair. But bread and rolls. Well, I know, yeah, yeah. Bread and rolls, there. Yeah. Shall I explain what I've been doing? Yeah, absolutely. So what I've done is using our double-sided die, I die cut my two layers in the, the blue and that yellowy colour. What I also wanted to do, this one with a lot more opened areas, I wanted to have that in white as well. Now, what I've done is, because it's double-sided, I only wanted that one side. Now, what I would do is I would, you can, but I wouldn't run through this die with just one layer of cardstock. So I popped in another layer, it just happened to be craft card. I don't need that just now, but if I only want one side, I would still just run it through with two layers of cardstock. It's all to do with the, the pressure and the plate con, uh, combination. So then what I'm gonna do is for this one, we'll also use our dotty tape runner. So this then, let's turn it that way these layer over the top so it creates the outline of that backdrop uh -huh. but what i want to do is before i stick it onto this one i'm going to pop it onto this white one but create a bit of a drop shadow so we've now got three layers making it look a little bit different yeah so for this you might want to use your spray or for something like this this is where your dotty tape runner is going to be absolutely perfect because it gets into all of these little bits and only the bits that you need them to go into. It's a super clever thing, isn't it? The, these dies, and like you say, with the patented, patented technology, it does make things um, super, super swift and super quick, doesn't it? It does. It really does. It makes it really quick, really fun, and a different, completely different concept of, you know, your normal dies. Once again, putting more adhesive on the back here then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it back over the top but I'm going I'm going to try and ignore the white layers at the moment yeah and what I'm doing is the aperture area of the yellow cardstock I'm going to match that so it's bang over the top so I can go into the bottom here get it exactly where I need it to go frame it and then what we've done is we've created a drop shadow within the layers of our double-sided dies. That's so cool. But then what I'm going to do, let's change the shape. So let's bring in our normal plate configuration. What I'm also going to do, because we've got a multitude of layers here, I'm going to then come in with my metal shim. I'm going to add this one in. So let's pop this one in. Let's bring in our stitched edge circle dies. And I'm going to come in, I think it's the second one down that just fits. Uh -huh. So let's pop this one in. Now, with this being three layers of cardstock, what you will find is it will cut most of the layers. You might need to just come around with your scissors and just snip away in a little snagging bit. 
because there's obviously that's three layers of cardstock that we've got within these ones. And it's about showing you how you can change the shape of them. You know, there's no reason why you have to keep them that rectangle shape. You might want to use your guillotine and trim it to a square or use your nesting dies and change the shape. So I'm going to go in here. So I'm going to take that one away. Uh -huh. So these bits here, it's die cut. But see how there's tiny little bits around here that's just holding on. Yeah. So in those situations, I would come in with my scissors and just follow that die cut line out. That's such a clever idea. Going to go and work my way around, releasing it. And I'm going to come in here uh -huh. and then finish it off. And now we've changed the shape. That's brilliant. Really different uh, look, isn't it? Yeah. By doing a drop shadow effect, but then also changing it to, to a circle. So let's start to layer this one up. Now, I've already done one exactly the same, simply because I've already got my foam pads on yep. the back. So, you know, nothing different, nothing different whatsoever. It's just the pads. So let's layer it up. Now, I've brought in an embossed layer, which happens to be, actually, this happens to be from the Woodland, not Woodland collection, Farmhouse collection again. Uh -huh. You can tell I had it at the side of me the other day. Eh? Absolutely. I just think that's such, such a simple thing that you've just done there, but something that I don't think I would have ever thought of. The fact that you've got like the, you know, the, the shape of it already. Never think about then coming in with some of your nesting dies to create a completely different shape. I, I just, so simple, but brilliant. It is, it really is. And that's a good thing with the nesting dies as well. Not necessarily just there to do the layers of your nesting of your card stocks but change anything that is your backgrounds same with if you have big layerable stamp, uh, stamps why not use your nesting dies to change the shape of them obviously not the actual stamps but once you've stamped them and the reason i like to use that one is because you've got that it's kind of like a laurel wreath yes. within here you've got that circle element so i'm going to pop that one into the middle here love it also using that thank you again that was using earlier on i've done it on white and i've done it on black to create a drop shadow and the thank you it will be visible but it's not going to be a punchy sentiment even though there's black so you might think oh i can't always see it crystal clear craig you know that the idea is not to be crystal clear it's so that you might want to have to come up close up and have a look and see, I tell you what, let's just go in very quickly. The black does just lift it up a little bit though, doesn't it? It underneath? does, it really does. Using just white, you know, it's going to sink in to the, the white layers that you've got. So adding that black really makes it stand out. So there's the thank you. Do you know what it also kind of creates as well? The um, eclipse effect. You know the eclipse sentiments that we've had? Oh yeah, uh -huh. Gives it sort of yeah, that look. Yeah, a little bit. So let's do thank you. That's really cool. Press that in. What I'm also going to bring in, now I've already done my wax seal. So we've got wax seal here. So let's go in now, finishing it off, bringing in some twine from Sarah's Vintage Diary collection. So I'm going to pop that one in here. Let's bring in our wax seal here, popping that one on. And that's all, I say all, that's what I'm doing, using the double-sided. That doesn't need to be embossed, or it could be any of your embossing folders that you've got at home. But it's using part of that freebie frenzy that is the double-sided bumper collection. Three elements in total being double-sided. You've got that opposite side as well. $24.99 here in the UK. $29.95 for you guys stateside. Of course, with you being in platinum, that does mean that you are going to be paying $19.99 here in the UK, or $23 dollars 96 for you guys stateside so really as a perfect opportunity to try the double-sided dies if you've not tried them yet Ben. there are so many great deals to be had you'll see lots coming up over the course of the day and indeed lots coming up as we head through until the 19th of may where this uh, freebie frenzy event continues until 
Uh, let's just uh, show you some of the other goodies that we've got. Items that you're going to be seeing tonight on Colour Me Happy. All the discovery kits come with freebies. So this one here is your advanced uh, masterful mandalas. You're going to get that for $24.99 or $34.95. And you're getting your free art liners included as well, uh, which is just phenomenal. Those are worth $12.99, $16.95. And you'll find loads of those advanced discovery kits uh, available for you there as well. And also don't forget of course tonight on color me happy we have got a brand new launch which we'll tell you more about in just a few moments time thank you for all the lovely messages still coming in still the chat about bread so um aisha is saying the hoagie is like a submarine sandwich and we were scratching our heads going what what's the submarine sandwich and then producer ellen yeah Aaron, ellen producer erin has stepped in and said subway as in submarine sandwich your way subway so that's where it came from so the sub the submarine sandwich is a sub and a sub is the same as a hoagie so a hoagie i'm beginning to understand now hoagie is the sub which is the submarine sandwich i mean this is all making perfect sense now you know they're the the rural food change yeah because it's a submarine chain. submarine sandwich hmm. uh yeah cj from atlanta saying hoagie like a baguette that's softer cyrus saying some areas of the us the same role is called a hoagie a submarine or a hero and even a grinder um, and Rosalind has summed it up brilliant saying, do you know what, you guys just need to come to the US. I think we do. We need to come on a bit of a, uh, a bit of a bread tour so we can find out all about your hoagies, your submarines, your muffalettas, your heroes, your grinders. I mean, seriously, the list does just go on and on. Uh, lots of love for that last demo coming in as well, Craig, by the way. Uh, Kathy Byers on Facebook saying, Craig has the brain of a crafty wizard. And Teresa wanting to know, Craig, how do you think of this stuff? It's all about playing. It's all about playing. I prepped these ones yesterday after I went home. So it's just all about sitting there, having a little bit of a play when it comes to the products that we get to do. Cut into them and chop into them if you want to. But what we're going to do, didn't have quite enough time to do uh, these ones here in a full demo, but let's have a look at them on your screen right now, which is our creations kit. This is our colorist creation and free, free blended mandalas discovery kit. Free? I can't believe that. Cannot believe that. 37 elements in total. Now, 49.99 here in the UK. You guys stateside are 69.95. If you are platinum, 39.99 or $55.96 when it comes to that one there. Now, these ones help you step by step with the guys that are included as well, how to do the colouring from some of the most incredible artists that are out there. It's from the name of Spectrum Noir. These ones here primarily focus on the tri blends, but you've got all all these different color and aspect sheets inside the box as well as that help by help tutorial sheets as well that you can follow along if you want this a bit like the double sided dies if you've never tried spectrum noir before or you've never tried the blend try blend then this is certainly the time for you to do that 18 try blends try blends within these ones here works out 54 colors simply because if you are new to tri blends for instance let's take a red well one pen has the three shades within the one pen so you get the light red the medium red and the dark red all contained with that in one pen so that's how you get so many colors within these ones here wow what a way to end the week on wake up call what a fab show what an absolute fab show. It has been all week. I've had the fortunate pleasure of uh, having Joe as well as uh, uh, George Square and then obviously having Johnny and Charlotte as well today with Ben. It's been a blast, is it not? I mean, I think probably one of the most fun and potentially confusing shows uh, that I've done since I've been here, but it, it's been a lot of fun. It thank, thank you all for your chat as well. Yeah. Um, there's been some random stuff. I mean, yeah, the, the chat about breads, as I said earlier on, I'm leaving here, I think, more confused than when I started. Yeah, yeah, I think me too as well. But then also going by the comments as well, you, you know, you are having fun and you're laughing away just as much as we do while we show you the products as well. And that's what it's all about. But we may be at the end of Wake Up Call, but what we have got on the remainder of today on Crafters TV, this is your schedule coming up that we can see right there.
right there. <laughs> we'll get that right one of the days. We'll get that right one of the days. Uh, launch day, so that's going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, or of course it's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come back and we're going to have a look at those uh, sets that we just showed you a minute ago, all about the tri blends and the coloristas, and that is Color Me Happy. Both shows, which are with Sarah and Ben. That's going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. That's me now for uh, for the weekend anyway. I'll of course be back uh, on Monday where we're going to do it all over again, 12 p.m. here in the UK, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, or of course 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Pacific, Pacific Time. But Ben, the freebie frenzy continues. The freebie frenzy continues. The mystery bag that we've got is flying out of the door. Remember, you're buying the Gemini Go uh, with all of the goodies, the stamps, the dies, the embossing folders, 90 or 115, uh, but you're gonna get the goodie bag worth over 100 pounds or 100 dollars for free. We'll have another delve into this a little bit later on uh, with Sarah, but get it before we get to the show because I can guarantee it is going to fly. People will miss out. Uh, right, that is just about it. Uh, yep. You're not going to finish off that stotty, are you? Uh, I might have a little nibble just afterwards, but just quickly as well, just to say, as you many know of uh, producer Laura, Laura, all the best in your uh, new adventures. Laura, this is her last day here at Crafters Companion, so uh, we've had a blast, a lot of fun, and uh, I know myself, but everyone here is going to miss you. So wishing you all the best. Yeah, absolutely, Laura. I will uh, certainly miss you too. Just won't miss your peas pudding stotties. Uh, <laughs> Laura, uh, yeah, good luck um, when you move on to whatever you do next. And uh, yes, thank you all for watching. Uh, we've had a blast. Craig will see you on Monday and I yes. will see you in about an hour and a half's time. Bye.